opening our hearts and nurturing our mind. Shine, I love you, love you. The reason we have that validation from our icons is because, you know, we were just exploring our creativity and they've already given us the, like, tick of approval and we didn't even know what we were doing then. So, like, and now there's, like, even more, like, from a fermentation of our, you know, our creative ideas and of working together. Like, it's only, like, the tip of the iceberg and that was already okay. So, I feel, I feel really good about it. I first met Nay at one of her first solo gigs um, in Melbourne at a place called Gertrude's Brown Couch and she was playing her songs on this really crappy child's pink nylon string guitar um, which was hilarious and she went into this full story about how like her brother guitar was like locked in someone else's house and <laughs> kind of a little precursor to you know Many, many situations involving Nay <laughs> would be similar to this. I warned you for the first time. As soon as she started playing and singing, I was just like, what the hell is going on? This is crazy. You know, I went up to her and was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, like we have to do a thing together. And like a whole year passed before we really reconnected again. And I was like, yeah, I really want to work with you. Oh my god, I can never work with anybody. So yeah. We first got together, first played together. Um, it was clear that everybody just got it. Uh, and everyone was not, not just sort of playing the part, but they were really, everyone was bringing something to it. They were bringing their own unique um, kind of flavor. Yeah, so straight away we could tell it was, it was something. Uh, really special, and um, from there we just rehearsed a whole hell of a lot. To make an album that was that we liked, we just want to be and, and 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 like just hand it to our friends, because at that time we, we were gigging and people were like, oh, I'd love to get this and that stuff and recording, you know, and then it was just all it was was just a little project for us to do, and we had a deadline and that was it. Otherwise, we probably wouldn't have done it. Like our manager was just like, all right, here's the album launch. This is the date. Yeah. yeah, down before then, see you later. And then we're like, all right, cool. Two weeks to go before the album launch. We better finish this album. <laughs> <laughs> and just like, we had a it. like yeah. the last yeah. five weeks were just epic. I didn't leave my room for the last like you two really weeks. Didn't. Yeah, like, yeah. I was it really literally going is. like, Bender would go up and get me coffees and food, and I'd just be there like <laughs> twitching. <laughs> and just, like, it was pretty crazy. But yeah, no, I don't know. Definitely didn't expect what's happened. No, no, no one was. We're going to be, you know, working on the record, hopefully that's going to come out, you know, sometime uh, late next year, and then, you know, a bunch more touring. I think in like uh, February we might be going, maybe going to Japan, maybe even going to India, we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah, 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 too. So it's like, you know, there's still a lot of like maybes, but, um, you know, it's just going to be like recording and touring. Yeah. Okay.